and welcome to another update. I think it's been about two weeks since I have updated and when I last left off I was going to a doctor's appointment. Uh, but before I get into that I'm going to update you with the babies. So let's see it says this week your baby weighs almost two pounds and is roughly four and a half inches. Wow a four and a half 14 and a half inches. They're about the size of a head of a cauliflower. As far as I know, the babies have been doing pretty well. They're pretty active. In fact, I feel one kicking right now. Oh my gosh, we have baby names. I am so excited to announce names, which I'll have Benji here at the end um, when we announce them. So with the doctor update, I went in and they wanted to check the fluids and my cervix and everything and I'm very happy to say everything turned out okay. My cervix didn't shorten any more than it did before and the fluid on the babies on baby A was great. One thing though, I was less active the past few weeks so I haven't been going out as much and so I think that really helped because I wasn't walking as much. I was mainly just walking around the house here and there playing with Juliana but even when I play with Juliana I'm usually just sitting on the floor or something. So when I told the doctor that I haven't been active she's like just listen to your maternal instinct and my instinct was just not to move around a lot and with that I noticed there was less pressure down there. So a few symptoms I'm definitely I'm feeling so pregnant like I felt this pregnant when I was about to give birth to Juliana like you know I'm just wobbling while I walk and it's just it's just starting to feel really uncomfortable just me getting into a car so like last night I went out to eat with my family and I got into just a regular car usually I have an SUV getting in is like no problem because I'm going up getting into the car which is just lower I was like, oh, I felt so prego, and I haven't felt that since oh, for over a year. My sleeping has been off and on. So like one night I couldn't sleep at all. I kept tossing and turning. And every time I turn, it I feel like so much pressure down there. Like it doesn't hurt my back, it doesn't hurt my tummy. But when I turn, I feel like I'm just pushing so much pressure. Um, weight gain, I did gain quite a bit. I gained 25 pounds so far. I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel like it's probably a lot of weight gain at this point because I still have, I mean, the babies. I'm expecting the babies in early to mid-March. So I feel like I'm I'm gaining weight pretty fast. And I know like, you know, I mentioned it, my cousin's like, Judy, you're carrying two babies. But at the same time, like I know my diet hasn't been that great. Like especially with the holidays, I'm eating so much sweets. And then my mom, my mom's like, Judy, you need to watch yourself because I have my gestational diabetes, my glucose test, no, the gestational diabetes test happening in like two weeks. And I know I have to just really cut down because you know I don't want to put the babies at risk and then obviously like I I'm starting to feel unhealthy so I need to start watching that and I don't I don't eat veggies I just don't like veggies and the only way I'll intake veggies are through green juice oh maternity clothes I bought a few pants I got two pairs of pants at Old Navy and then I went online again and their pants are on sale so I bought two more pairs of jeans um, but I'm very picky on my maternal jeans now I like the one with the full panels and I'm wearing it today it's the one that has like the really long panel that you can put up over your belly. It's just so much more comfortable, like especially when I'm sitting down like this, the short panels that end um, at the bottom of your belly, I feel like it just digs in. So I wanna share with you guys the names of the baby bears, but let me grab Benji so we could share this together. <laughs> I'm so proud of Honey because he is the one that actually came with an index. I would bug him literally every day, what's our baby's names? Because he wanted to choose them. So um, he had an index card on Christmas night with a really sweet letter and it had like 15 names and it was really sweet. I picked two names from the index card. One of them was different, but we tweaked it to what we wanted. Mm -hmm. So you want to reveal the names? So, and then the meaning behind it. Baby A is Mia, 
and baby, baby. B is, is Kira. Kira. And now, uh, what I wanted to do was play on my heritage, which is uh, Irish Japanese. So Mia is really Miyako. That the that will be her full name, and that's her a Japanese name. name. And Kira is an Irish name. Now, you Irish people, you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if that's <laughs> even Irish or not. I just looked it up on the in internet. But regardless, I like both of those names. They're such beautiful names. I love Mia. Miyako. It's just, I always thought it was beautiful, like adding the ko and at the end of oh, the yeah. name. And it's, it's a very pretty common in It's a very Japan. traditional thing. A lot of young ladies don't use a ko anymore. But okay. that's why we'll just call her Mia. I love Mia. We did get a lot of responses back, and it, um, those oh, yeah. both of those names were in the top five of like the twelve or thirteen that we picked. So. The number one name that was most popular amongst our viewers was a don't tell anybody. <laughs> it was Olivia, and Olivia is also a beautiful name. Uh -huh. I just didn't feel that I had an Olivia in her, in my belly. Maybe I'll show the results of, um, I'll just do a screenshot of the results and you can see for yourself. But yeah, so we finally picked our names and I feel like I could finally identify with our babies and every time I feel like it's Kira at the top that is so active, like I always feel her punching and kicking around. And then Mia on the bottom, she's usually like fluttering around, you know. She's probably every smashed now and then. right now. She's like, I can't move. <laughs> oh, we should also mention that Kira's name wasn't originally Kira. It was Kara or Kira, K-E-R-A. And I thought the name was just too, it was just too simple for what we wanted. So then, mm -hmm. and then you said, well, what about Kira? Kira. Like Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. So now we're gonna do a belly shot. You wanna do a belly shot with me? Okay, so. Is it on autofocus right now? This is 27 Honey? weeks, 27 weeks and uh, four days. And I'm a lot pointier now. Wow. How many more weeks do you have to go? I could have up. 10 to 14 weeks oh my left. Gosh. And look, my belly button is totally an Audi. Like, was that like it last time? It was Audi, like at, towards the very end. Oh, yeah. I didn't get any new stretch marks. Um, the the thing I'm using is awesome. It's the um, Honest. Oh yeah. Keep Benji it said it smells like burning wood or something, but it really works. It's very moisturizing. And I like it. Yeah, but that's that's the belly. Okay. All right, is that it? Yeah, 25 week belly. My family said that I look small for twins. But I'm not worried because I was actually pretty small with Juliana. I haven't noticed. So I have Benji Bear here wait, with wait, me. Wait. 